Howdy, I'm James Hayhurst, the owner of Sparkling Roof. I'd like to show you a very typical roof cleaning job site. The house behind me, you see one half of it is darker than the other. The neighbor in this townhome had their roof cleaned several years ago. Now we'd like to make this one match. If you'd like to follow me around, I'll show you a basic setup of this job site. So one of the first things we do when setting up is to use our garden hose and your water source uh, that will help us protect your plants and later on rinse the roof to get the salt solution off the shingles. We also clean out your gutters if there's any leaves or debris in it. And then we remove the downspout and attach a bag to it to catch any of the runoff from the cleaning solution. This will help uh, prevent too much salt from entering your soil or your plants. A very important step is proper ladder placement. So we look for a good accessible spot to put the ladder that won't damage your roof or your gutters and will also be safe on our end. We prefer to keep the ladder on soil or grass rather than concrete when all possible. So when you set your ladder up, you wanna have it at a good angle, not too steep and not, not too flat. We make sure that the ladder, the metal of the ladder is not touching any metal on your gutter or on the shingle by using the stabilizers or a foam pad. For this particular application, there's no gutter on this one portion, so we're using that in addition to uh, having a foam pad on there. So let's come check out the roof. Prior to cleaning a roof, we do a full inspection. We look for broken shingles, exposed nail heads, loose flashing, any potential leak spot. And these are areas that we're gonna repair uh, after the cleaning to ensure that the roof gets another 10 years of worry-free maintenance. Uh, any roof that's older than 10 years old will typically have between 10 and 20 leak, uh, potential leak spots. We're gonna identify them and fix them. One of the first things I'd like to point out is the difference in color. When water passes over a galvanized vent stack, or any metal for that matter, it alters the pH slightly enough to where the algae doesn't wanna grow there. So this is actually the original color of the roof, and that's what we're gonna make this whole roof look like when we're done. So next I wanna show you what a nail lifted shingle looks like and broken glue tabs that uh, we're gonna fix when we're cl done cleaning the roof. Over time, the nails will begin to walk out of the decking, especially on this type of shingle that is three tab. So it's very lightweight compared to the architectural design shingle. So what happens is the sun heats up the decking, then at night it cools off. And then over and over again for say 10 years, you'll begin to have nails that will walk out and it will actually rupture the glue tab of the shingle. So what we end up doing is we either extract the nail and replace it, or we extract it and put in a roofing mastic and then we re-glue the shingle down. Each roof typically has three or four of these. Some roofs have uh, in excess of 20 of them. This is something we include in the roof cleaning and restoration process for no charge whatsoever. We also look for exposed nail heads uh, around any type of flashing. Uh, and this is a turbine that has rusty nail heads on it. So we're gonna re-secure these nails and then put caulking on top of it to ensure that this doesn't become a leak spot. Next, we're going to actually treat the roof and this requires a minimum of two persons. So let's go back down to the ground and I'll show you the next phase. The next phase is the most fun, it's the treatment. It's where we're gonna actually kill all that algae and make the roof look brand new again. This requires a minimum of two persons, one on the ground doing cover spray while the specialist on the roof does the treatment. Uh, we're using industrial bleach and it's the only product endorsed by the roof manufacturers because it doesn't require a high pressure rinse in order to get the, the roof clean. And so as I follow Jaren, Jaren is the, my specialist, say hello. <laughs> um, we're gonna get this roof clean using a method that is very efficient as well as safe. We're, we work in strips or rows of six to 10 foot wide bottom to top. And the reason we do this is so that you get a nice streak free finish and also to where that as we move along, if any touch-ups are becoming obvious, we can easily treat them without having to step immediately 
on the slippery shingles. Alrighty, so let's get to the treatment. Now the treatment is complete, and this is where a lot of roof cleaning companies would pack up and go home and call it a, a job well done. However, we're only halfway through the process. The American Roofing Manufacturers Association, the people that develop this type of shingle, is the one that tells us to use the industrial bleach followed by a thorough rinse. So the rinsing phase is what we're gonna start next. Now the rinse is the opposite application method as the treatment. It is done top to bottom. And the reason we're doing the rinse is to get any of the salt residue out of the shingle to where that it doesn't have any potential drying or damaging effects to the shingle and also to where the roof will immediately look uh, beautiful without having to wait for a rainfall and whatnot. So let's get up on the roof and I'm gonna show you some roof rinsing techniques. So as you see, the shingles are no longer black and we have thoroughly killed all the algae on this roof. But now before it fully dries, we need to get the salt byproduct off of the shingle to be in compliance with the roof manufacturers. So what I'm gonna demonstrate is the double rinse method. I'm gonna take the top four rows and rinse it walking this way. And then on my next pass, I'm gonna do the next four rows while also rinsing the first four. And I'm using my foot to mark where I'm at on the roof. This will become more and more important the lower I get because it's pretty easy to lose your spot. So we're gonna work with a, with a pretty light pattern, typically a circular pattern, about four inches in diameter. You don't want globby water or a solid stream. And you see it's just very soft and gentle. And you see how it's turning brown as I hit? That's what we're getting. We're getting the dead algae that turns brown when it dies, and then the salt residue. So I'm gonna begin the double rinse method by marking the first four rows and work my way down. For brevity, I'm going to stop right here and begin to do the next row. So then now we go down four more, and now we're getting eight rows of shingles at a time. So this is the first rinse, for this row, and now the second rinse for the top row. This type of rinse that we're doing is only for walkable roofs. For steeper roofs, we have a different method that we'll have to shoot another video for. So we have about an hour or less left on this roof restoration project. As soon as we're done rinsing it, we're going to do all that caulking maintenance that we identified prior to the treatment. A lot of people ask me, how much does roof cleaning cost? And it's simply based on how big the roof is then factored by how dirty it is. At Sparkling Roof, we have two rates. For heavy algae, it's $20 per square. For standard algae that's just streaks or, or lighter than that, it's only $16 per square. A square is a roofing measurement, it's 10 by 10. And so if you'd like a free estimate on this, please give us a call at one of our offices and we'll be able to measure your roof remotely and let you know uh, a very solid ballpark price that we'd stand by. Or if you'd prefer to, to meet me in person and to have a, a thorough inspection, I happily do that as well. We do have limited availability for that though. Thank you for watching this video and thank you for choosing Sparkling Roof as the 2016 Torch Award winner through the Better Business Bureau.